Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com Alright, I had a request a while back. They, you know, they ask me to do things from time to time. Y'all know that. And you know, if it suits, I do it. If it don't, I don't. This one kind of suited. Someone asked me if I can make text like a YouTube annotation text with the gray background, transparent gray background, the words in it and all of that. So, I'm going to show you how to do it inside the link Power Director 11. Get your annotation on. This is how you do it. Let's get into it. All right, you may not notice, but most of the uh, backgrounds or images that you find in any of the uh, the the titles in Cyberlink Power Director are PNG images. So they don't have one like this set up already. So we have to create our own. So here's how you do it. You want to go to Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop Elements? I'm using Adobe Photoshop elements to do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to file new and then I want to go to blank file. The reason why I do that is because I want to start off my own canvas and make it just how I want it to be. So I'm going to give it a name. You can name yours whatever the heck you want to. This is my name. Don't steal it either. Mine. Copyright. Not really, but you know. Now I'm going to give it a height of, let's say, 700. A width of 700, excuse me, and a height of 90. And we're going to leave everything else, all the other settings the same. I'm going to click OK. Now you may need to make your uh, image smaller as far as the width. Because you may not be using as many words as I might use. So, it's up to you. Next thing I need to do is I need to change this color. I don't want it black. I want it gray. So, if I click on the foreground, I can choose the color. It might have already been here, but mine was already on gray because I was messing around with it, of course. So, I have the color setting that I want. I'm going to click OK. Then, I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool. I'm going to left click on this. And then I'm going to click within the black area and it'll change it to the color I want. Now, YouTube annotations have rounded corners. They don't have, you know, sharp edges, sharp corners like this. So I need to change that. If I go over here to the shape tool, I can right click and I got all these different shape options. I want rounded rectangle tool. So I'm going to left click on that. Then I'm going to. Go ahead and bring my cursor in here where I want it to start. I'm just going to left click, drag it, and drop it across. So I get this beautiful looking marquee. Now I got that set up. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to... You can either just hit delete. Well, I guess you can't hit delete and get rid of the wrong one. As usual, mistakes happen sometimes when you do things. Alright? So let's do it this way instead. Just gonna go ahead and click on a little visibility of the background. I'm gonna leave the shape one. And now you see all of this is transparent behind here. And all you can see is this middle piece. Next thing I want to do is you can go ahead and do this if you want to, or you can leave this part out. I like to include this part. I'm gonna go to image. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to layer. And I'm gonna go to layer style I'm gonna go to style settings now I like to include a stroke right now there's nothing on here it's just the marquee but if I click on the stroke I can change the color make it white click OK and I can change the size of my stroke and as you can see if I drag this it makes a little outline around it I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna make my three. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm all set up to bring this into Power Director. The last thing I need to do is save it. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to change the format to PNG. 
This will preserve the transparent piece around the edges. And we're going to call it annotation background PNG. I'm going to click save. And we don't want any interlacing. I'm going to click OK. And that's that. We're done. At least with that piece. So now I'm going to go to Power Director. Okay, now that we're in Cyberlink Power Director 11, we want to go ahead and create our title. So what we need to do is we need to go to the title room. And we need to click on create a new title template. And we're going to choose a 2D title. And first things first, let's go ahead and bring our image in that we created in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and left click on insert image. Let's go find the one that we named annotation background. Here it is. I'm going to left click on this and click on open. Now one thing that you got to know is that in Cyberlink it looks at it as a picture so it's not going to you know change it in any way shape or form. It, you can only make it bigger or smaller. You can't make like the um like if you try to like just make it smaller by the, by the left or right it's not going to do it. It'll make the whole thing smaller as you just saw just happened there. So it's very important for you to create the right size image for your title when you're in Photoshop alright remember that alright so let's go ahead and bring our image to our title first thing you'll notice is whoops covered up my title alright well you could always get rid of that title and make a new one but the easier way to do it is just to left click down here next to the wording in this little gray area hold your cursor down and drag it up and what will happen is the background will become the first layer and your text is second so the text is on top of it now wow alright next thing you want to do is change our text so we'll go ahead and left click and drag it across the text and we want to go ahead and change the type font type to Arial I'm going to change the size to 20 and then I'm going to change the color to white simply because most YouTube annotations are that color you can make whatever color you want in YouTube too and now I want to position my text where I want it to be and let's go ahead and get this sucker centered here so that it's centered right under it so what I did is I left click on the image and I'm going to go align horizontal center. I'm going to left click this little box here again. And vertical center. And now everything should be centered up. Let me make sure my text is centered. I'm going to do the same thing with that. And now they should be lined up perfectly. I like it. It's pretty good for now. We'll leave it as is. You can make any other adjustments to change it. And make it like perfectly right in the middle. Take your time and do it right. This is just a tube, so I'm just knocking it out like this. So I'm going to change the text now to The World is Mine, baby. Now let's make it The World is Mine, and you know it. And now, once again, I'm going to center this, make sure everything is on point. All right, good to go. Alright, so now I got everything set up. I got my text where I want it. Everything's gravy. Except in YouTube, if you have YouTube annotation, you have the ability to make it more transparent. So what we could do for that is let's left click down here on the annotation background. And that activates it. And let's turn up our transparency. So let's say about, I we can say 50. I mean, you play with it how you want it. I like the way it looks right now at 50%. Look very similar to a YouTube annotation background right now. The other thing we want to do is make sure that these image settings are not set to fade in and fade out. 
Because you're going to think that your thing's not working. So let's turn off these fade in and fade outs. We just want the background to stay there the whole time. Alright. You do the same thing with the text if you want to. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's left click down here. And let's take the fade. Okay, it doesn't have a fade on the text. Beautiful. I didn't want it on there. But let's see. It looks like it's got no effect. No effect. Good. Alright. So we're set. So I'm going to do save as. And I'm going to name it YouTube Annotation. And I'm going to click on OK. And let's go ahead and save this. And now I can drag this down into a new track. And now, voila! Beautiful. Look just like I'm YouTube and I'm tired down a guy. Alright. So I can make this last the whole video if I want to just by dragging it out. Uh if I double click on it or if I click on it and do modify either one, I can move these things where I want them to be. So let's say I want it to be uh I don't know, a line bottom. Let's move it all to the bottom now. So now it's at the bottom of the screen. If I wanted to do a line left, boom, it's on the bottom left. Well, right now it's just the words, so let's do the whole thing. Don't play with me, buff, okay? So I can move the stuff all around how I want to. I could just, you know, drag it where I want to. Then I have to drag the words again. So, you know, just make sure if you decide to do that, that you can get everything centered back up again. All right? I'm going to click on cancel because I'm leaving it in the middle for now. And that's it. Move on and be strong. Alright. So, you know what to do. Thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. The one underneath this video. Yeah, you know. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug it. Alright. Leave me your comments. Okay. I love comments. I'll get back to you. If I can't help you, if you have a problem, then I will point you in the right direction to get the help that you freaking deserve, people. You deserve help. You bought this, you paid money, get some help, alright? And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.